Welcome back guys, gals, and ghouls to our next episode of our Fallout 4 survival run featuring Jolene, Wasteland Queen. We're taking ourselves a, a nice little flyover of the castle here and heading on back to the Glowing Sea in order to go see Virgil. Last time, we wrapped up some business with the Courser and with an Institute chip. Now we just got to drop that off with him and we get to go meet the Institute. The last of our uh, little factions that we have to meet before we start moving into the end game content. Late mid game end game content. So I will see you in the sea. Oh yeah, coming in over the glowing sea from the air is a much different experience. It's really easy to see all that devastation. Like, I really like this. Everything is wrecked and ruined and like, this is a good place to run through. It's just a shame there's not more in here. And we are back to see Virgil. No, you shouldn't. I got all the way to you in the glowing sea. Come on. We are back at the castle, fresh from a vertebrate ride from the glowing sea. And uh, Preston, I need your help. For once, I need a signal interceptor. And just like that, we've got to go do some running around to get to Sturgis. But first, we're going to talk to everybody else about us making our way into the Institute. All right, so we're on the Pridwin. We're going to talk to Elder Maxon, see what he wants. Oh, okay. Well, I was going to tell him about the Institute, but he won't let me. All right. Hello, Proctor Quinlan's cat. And while we're here, Proctor Quinlan. Yes. Here, take documents, give money. All right, 13 documents. We made 325 caps. That is not very bad at all. Hello, Naria. Yes, I have blood samples for you. Naria. Naria. I'm terrible. Yes, take samples. I would like to use the money your contemporaries just paid me to buy more vertebrate grenades from you. Just the grenades. Thank you. We just spent a lot of money on grenades, but it's fine. We got ballistic fiber out of it, too. I think... I think... I can make it into the water from here. And not die. And then run across to go see... But I th I don't think I want to risk it in survival mode. I haven't, I haven't slept in a long time. I need to learn my lesson. Learn my lessons. We're making progress. We're learning. Alright, so the Brotherhood didn't want to hear about it. What about the railroad? Hi, I'm going to the Institute. The place you guys are dedicated to fighting? Yeah? You, I, I literally can't tell any of you. You just won't listen to me. You won't listen to me when I'm about to tell you that, hi, I'm going to the Institute. What? Why? Alright, so we just stopped off at the Starlight Drive-In for a little bit. And uh, we just kind of fixed things up. We put in uh, a bunch more beds. We put in a few extra defensive turrets. We made sure they had more than enough food and water so they're actually putting into the machines, into the machines, into the trade system. We're good with that. We're good with that. We're just going to do little stop-offs. Stop-offs on the way. Be efficient with our timing. All right, we've given, uh, we've gone ahead with Good Abernathy Farms a bit of a makeover, and uh, yeah, so far so good. We've like tripled their food output. They were starving. Good thing we had them on the system, so they were eating food from the other settlements. We've also put a bunch of people on scavenger stations. Oh, it. Do I have people who aren't assigned? I thought I had just assigned a bunch of you. You. Scavenge. That's right. All right. You. Scavenge. Oh, and we are back to our home sweet home sanctuary hills. Well, this time it's a lot more populated. We've got Pack Brahmin in the distance there. We got Pack Brahmin going through the river. We've uh, we've done a lot of work. We just topped up the Red Rocket truck stop, make sure they had all the resources they need. We're, uh, yeah, we're expanding. Home sweet home. All right, Sturges, we need to build a thing. All right, so Sturges has just told us that we might need a nuclear reactor for this. Um, you know, it's funny you should say nuclear reactor, Sturges. Hey, look, it's a fusion reactor. Hey, look, I built it. Took me like, what, 10 seconds? 11 tops? Ooh, we earned a random level up while we were crafting, so let's figure out what we're going to pick up here. Um, I think we're just going to keep advancing bloody mess for bonus damage right now. All right, the first piece, the stabilized reflector platform and a patent nuclear reactor to power it have all been built. Let's go Sturgis, what do we need next? All right, that's the entire relay built. Oh, oh, it's about that time, pals and gals. All right, let's do this. No looking back. That doesn't sound great, bud. Yeah, I'm, okay. Oh, and the tube magically went back. Welcome 
to the Institute. This is the big old relay we showed up in. Oh, it already feels different from the wasteland. Like we went through the glowing sea and it was, oh, that was mayhem. But this already feels so much nicer and cleaner and better. All right, we're going to check that in a second. Oh, never mind, that's inaccessible. We're going to check it out right now. All right, that's the way we came. So this right here is where Jolene's already made her decision about the Institute. We're going to run around. We're going to do our thing with them. But she shows up. And the very first thing they do is lead her into a locked room with a replicate clone of her missing son. Already. Already. She's pretty done with them. Bum, bum, bum. Big plot twist. Father is our son. And they still chose to put us through that anyways. Yeah, because you made me believe that. You made a clone. A, a, not a clone. A, what? I, you made it. A synth. So he's going to tell us that they needed his DNA and then eventually I got freed and I came to find him, blah, blah, blah. I'd like you to come see the Institute. So not only did he set up all of that, he also set it up that we would have to fight and kill Kellogg for him to tie up his loose ends. All right, and welcome to the main floor of the Institute. We have a shopkeep over here. There's a little quest we're going to go pick up there. And yeah, they've actually got a really nice setup down here. They just do horrible, horrible, horrible things. All right, so we have to meet the department heads. Here's one of the first ones, Ali Fillmore. Ali's the chief of engineering. Ali doesn't have much to say, but, you know, quest-wise, we're taking the tour. We're also just going to pop into all the little back rooms that we find. All this stuff is full of good, 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 good crafting materials. Aluminum, screws, bolts. We're going to get a lot of what we need for our future endeavors just from raiding everywhere the, uh, every single place we can find in the Institute. Just an entire case of beer, every single glass, everything, everything. We're just going to strip the Institute of everything they've got. Thank you. Take that, 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 that. And so this is the bioscience division where they work on all, you know, biosciencey stuff. Including a pack of synth gorillas. Of all things, I love them. I love them. I wish these were, like, everywhere in the game. And we have to meet the head of biosciences, Clayton Holdren. So we've come a little further into the labs behind a locked door in the biosciences division. If you remember, this is where Dr. Virgil said he was from. And all of a sudden, things are looking a lot uh, a lot different. And in here, we find out the truth. Although it was abandoned, the, uh, the Institute are actually the ones responsible for using the FEV to create super mutants and sending them around the Commonwealth. So, you know, they like to say they have nothing to fear from them. But, uh, I mean, super mutants, we've seen what they get up to. And then we have a back door that just leads us back into the bioscience room. And then we have Dr. Madison Lee. And so this is, she's the head of the robotics division. And uh, she actually just gave us a courser chip. So now we can teleport in and out. Which is going to be incredibly useful for us. We can save a lot on our grenades. And I'll show you why later. And here we have the robotics department where they make sense. And boy... Do they make sense? All right, so we have cleared out every single thing we could grab from this area. We uh, we kind of did quite a run around here. So this whole area is basically a whole bunch of concentric circles, a lot of verticality here. And we've got towers here, 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 and here. We've got back areas. We've got, you know, that's the general structure. It's mostly, you know, living quarters, etc. We've got some back areas. We've got the department areas. I have gone through every single one of these and I have cleared all of it out of absolutely everything you can pick up. Absolutely everything. All the little bits and bobs and a lot of aluminum, a lot of ceramic, cameras, telescopes, lots and lots and lots and lots of amazing crafting components. It has taken us six trips. We have grabbed a lot. A lot of stuff. We have 35 folders. There's not even a point to them. I just decided to just click on every single thing that could be picked up. If it hasn't been nailed down, it's now in a settlement inventory. And we we don't need any of those. Boom. And how have we done this? With our new tool, courtesy of our friend, Dr. Lee. We can now fast travel between these two points. We can go to the Institute to come inside here. Or we can go to the CIT runes. And boom. We teleport in to the CIT runes. Now if we just look across the way, oh, this looks like a familiar scene. I've seen that boat before. We hop in the river. Brief little 30 second swim. Oh, someone's shooting someone up there. And we're back at Hangman's Alley. 
All right, so as we've cleared all that out, we're going to uh, go on our next mission for Father. Our first mission for Father, Synth Reten yeah, synth -ba -ba -ba. Synth Retention. So basically, long story short, there's a synth. He's made a group of raiders. He's ruling them with an iron fist. We're going to go shut it down. I figure it's a good way to end this episode with a bang and just get some action going. It's going to be a lot of stuff that we're going to be grabbing on the way. And uh, just a nice little clear out. We need to start making more money. Now that we have this uh, nice fancy institute teleporter to save us a lot of time, we can start collecting our materials together. <coughs> but since we are here, it's, uh, it's about time to start using this newfound mobility to start wrapping up some loose ends. Oh. Alright, so there's a Brotherhood vertebrate coming in. But there's also some lasers hitting it. See, here's the thing. Here's the thing. The Brotherhood and the Institute are going to shoot each other on sight, but I have to meet up with a Courser. That's my Courser buddy who's shooting that. So I have to be very careful not to get involved with this or I make an enemy out of the Brotherhood. And I do not want that. There are vertebrates everywhere right now, too. Oh, I guess as long as you're tracked onto those, you're not going to talk. Okay, okay, he's... So he's not following them because he's supposed to meet me here. Oh. That vertebrate just teleported. Okay. All right, so we're we're setting out on Libertalia, and this is uh, this is a mess. So we've got Brotherhood Knights and everybody else running around shooting each other. Whole bunch of raiders over there shooting back. We've got a courser on our side who's going to be shooting everybody he can. And we've got to make it all the way across all this chaos over to that floating chunk of city over there. Boom. Oh, sniping's good. There we go. That's two dead. I'm basically just using the shots from the Brotherhood Knight as like. A pathfinder like tracker rounds nice bright red lasers oh uh, is my courser in there killing the brotherhood i feel like he is yeah so the brotherhood and the courser they're just chasing each other around in a big circle i can't get involved because i don't want the brotherhood to turn on me yet but they're just gonna keep fighting oh what oh there's my courser buddy come on wrap up your fight let's go and x688 is really bad at this he's just like He's getting one shot for every 10 or 15. He's not doing anything. He's taking cover and getting smacked. He's just, man, this is, he is really bad at this. Look at this, look at this. This guy's got like no health. X688 just got back up with a full health bar. Watch him get his ass kicked. He's just taking it. He's just taking, he's doing nothing. He's, I don't think he's hit him. He just criticized the Brotherhood Knight for sloppy tactics and bad aim, but he can't win with freaking immortality brah brah this is sad just just come this way you can't you can't kill him you lose the institute loses to the brotherhood oh you're still fighting why oh he's actually taking some shots this time oh he's taking more than one shot oh he he learned how to use his trigger he still lost but like closer much closer sorry I'm, uh, I think I'm overly invested in this fight. I just kind of wanted X688 to redeem himself. Come on. Oh, you hit him once. He's, he's one hit point, man. Oh my god, he did it. He did it. Oh. He, there's someone up there with the fat man. Okay. That was, uh, a little terrifying. I just watched that explode. Alright, that's the mini nuke one down. So we managed to fight our way the whole long way around. Just kind of sniping out what was left of the raiders as we went. Oh, easy target. Boom. Gone. Instant, I love it. We just gotta make our way up into the ruins of that sunken ship. That's the Libertalia proper. And up here at the top of the Libertalia, right where we killed the person with the mini nuke of the fat man. We have a U.S. cover operations manual for a little bit more to our sneak, which has been coming in very handy, especially while we do all this. And once you get all the way to the top, you can make your way into the captain's cabin in the Libertalia. And boom, we now have a code to just shut down the, uh, the Raider Boy. And we have Le Fusil Terrible. Oh, I'm very happy about this. This is a legendary weapon that you find in a Libertalia that does 25% damage and limb damage, but has more recoil. I'm not actually sure between this and Twin Shot, which ends up being more powerful. Hmm, interesting. I'm going to take that and we're going to see. 
between that and uh, we picked up a few other items while we were in the institute proper uh we picked up do 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 i have them here the mark ii synth chess piece so it's a chess piece that gives your enemies a harder time detecting you while you're sneaking and not moving now we've kind of just been running around but if we ever really need to like start specializing in going stealthy for certain stuff this is going to be the piece we want to take with us while we do it we picked up a mark ii synth helmet that's our fancy new thing that we're wearing and it gives us plus one to our agility and perception uh the last one we had gave us 10 percent, and it's the commando helmet it gave us 10 percent reduction in action point cost and bats which is really good but we take expensive bad shots we're not taking little bad shots where a little bit of savings will get us two three four extra shots so you know what i decided to just opt to have a higher base agility and perception be a little bit more accurate be a little bit more sneaky and have the extra action points instead of worrying about that cost reduction and uh we also picked up the mark three synth right arm same ability as the right arm we had before but on much better synth armor we just fully upgraded it slapped some mods on it and uh done and done between that and le fusil terrible we we've had a fairly good equipment upgrade going here uh fusil terrible all right maybe not an upgrade maybe not for certain anyways but uh definitely at least on par with our best shotgun to to this point all right that's everything we need from here. Do, do, do. Nothing else? No? Uh, oh, okay. I'll take free XP. And once we come out on the roof, we're confronted by the synth and his buddies. And he just shuts down. All right. Let's just take a few shots here. All right. That's done and done. And we got a level out of it as well. Ooh, what do we want? What do we want? All right. So this just means enemies may explode when other enemies near them explode from bloody mess i'm not worried about that right now i think i want to uh i think i want to start putting points to other things here in fact yeah we're gonna leave heavy weapons for now we are gonna pick up some more of that later but for now yeah i think we're gonna start putting points into melee and start picking up some melee gear that's what i think we're gonna do so to do that we're gonna start no yeah no mm, we're gonna start crafting i want to have it's going to take us a little longer to get it, but I want to have the best melee gear I can as soon as I start investing in it. X688 grabs our synth boy and then heads back to the Institute. Done and done. We get to pick up loot. And with that, we are done our first little quest for the Institute here. Been to new places, killed new people, captured other new people, met new people, was horrifically scarred psychologically by the only remaining family I have left in this world. And we got a nice new uh, setup. We got some new gear, new weapons, new armor. So we're doing good. So I think we're going to call that for a part here. And uh, until next time, come see us as we have Jolene finishing her last little run through the Commonwealth, wrapping up some loose ends. That'll be next time. And now we're going to move on to bigger and better plans. Until then, strive, thrive, and survive, my friends.